Over the Christmas holiday, I gifted this DIY bottle opener, and all I needed was one 1x6 piece of wood, a couple of 90 degree brackets for decoration, a tool to cut the wood, nails, wood glue, measuring tape, and a speed square. So if you're interested in making one of these, stick around for the video and I'll show you how I made it. I already had this wood on hand and I noticed that it was splitting down the center. So the first thing I wanted to do was cut into the good pieces of wood. So it wouldn't start to splinter or break apart as I was building. I noticed after the first piece I cut with hardly any pressure just break that piece apart. So I knew I was going to have to do a lot of cutting in order to get to some good solid wood. After about the third try I flipped the board over just to see what it was looking like on the bottom side and I noticed the piece of knotted wood that I was able to cut off where it was rotting and everything and once I cut that off I was good to go. The pieces that are going to make up the bottom that catches the bottle caps the wood is six inches so that's really five and a half. And I did those pieces at three and a half inches. So there'll be three pieces that form the U shape. That's gonna be the bowl for the bottle caps. And then I'll have a long back piece, which you'll see later on that I had to do some, you know, Jimmy rigging to fix that because I didn't have my measurements correct, which is, you know, it's normal. I'm teaching myself this as I go. So once I got all three of those pieces cut without any issues, no dry rotting, no splintering, we were good to go. I stacked them all together and then I sanded them since this was gonna be a piece that was touched often. What I am learning about sanding is that I am not a straight sander. I thought, you know, I was doing my best to sand straight, you know, upright or, you know, at a perfect 90, but it, they, it, the sides were all uneven. They were totally uneven. I made sure to wipe all the sawdust off with um, a damp paper towel. You can also use like a tack cloth or a cheese cloth or whatever you have just to get all the dust off. And the next thing I was ready to do was start assembling. I assembled most of this bottle opener with just 18 inch bright nails and some wood glue. Once I had the three walls for the bottom little bucket part put together, I was ready to cut the bottom and the back. Once I get all those pieces, you're pretty much done after that. I made sure that everything lined up well and fit together well and just started to assemble it. I wasn't too worried about where a lot of the nail holes were going because they would get covered up by those corner 90 brackets. But for the rest of it, I did go ahead and fill it in with the wood putty to make sure that there were no major gaps or seams that were open. And once the wood putty dried, I just sanded it down and now I was ready to stain it. With my gloves handy and my napkins, I read the label on this Verathane stain that I used. It was a espresso satin finish. And I did forget to put on my mask. I didn't realize how this was gonna smell being this was my first time ever staining anything. So I do end up opening the garage door after a while. But the stain was actually fairly easy to put on. I used a water base because after some of the videos I seen with oil, I didn't feel like I was ready to go that route yet. And I'm glad I didn't because this was enough to be my first staining project, something that I wasn't just practicing on. So I really liked the way it turned out. I ended up doing, I think, you know, a couple coats. Um, I really liked the finished stain. I let that dry for a little while. I'm not even sure how long it was. It might've been an hour or so. And then I grabbed my mask since I was still working and I started to put on the brackets. I made sure not to drill the pre-drill holes in the seams. So I, you know, adjusted where the bracket was going based on that. And I only put in two screws because it was just for decoration anyway. And now I was ready to install the bottle opener. Thinking that I was about to be done with this project, I even went as far as making sure that the screw that came with it was not going to splinter the wood or be too big, which it was. So luckily I had, you know, my own smaller screws that I bought. But in the process of doing that, I literally realized that this thing may be too short. So I grabbed a bottle to test it and to my surprise, you guys, to my surprise, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? I literally sat like this probably for about a good minute. This is fast forwarded for the purpose of this video. So I had to go into MacGyver mode to figure out how to fix this without 
starting completely over. And what I came up with was just attaching another piece to the top of it. I just needed to make sure that it was going to be a seamless fit or look like, you know, it was meant to be attached to that. I was so mad at myself in a good, bad way. I didn't want to pick it up and throw it. So that's a good thing. I ended up adding, I think maybe about four and a half or five inches to the top of it. And I ended up using pocket hole screws because I figured that would give me a really tight fit and be as seamless as possible with that attachment. Then I just added these little decorative brackets to make it look like, you know, it was on purpose. Now I was officially ready to attach the last piece of this thing. I figured out where I need to put the bottle opener and I screwed it on and I was done, you guys. It took me two days to make this. I probably could have made it in one day, but I learned a lot. I love the way it turned out. I like the stain. I even like the decorative hardware pieces. The next one I plan to make for myself, I'll probably do it like in a white or gray tone because that's the color of my current decor and everything in my house. But I absolutely love this bottle opener this idea it's a small project to practice on um, any day to do some pocket hole practice is a good day and you know as small as the project was I learned a ton and I'm glad I did it if you like this video please give me a thumbs up turn on your notifications and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already I have a lot of projects coming up in the works and I hope you stick around to see them thanks guys for joining DIY blueprint diva I'll see you later